right welcome everyone back to another video and i wanted to show off my new visualizer um it's running on arduino it's a very simple hardware um it's just 16 um 8 by 8 blue leds and they're run by that max chip the max linear chip um that um 7211 something like that anyways uh, it's connected to uh, a single Arduino Nano or SPI, uh, and they are daisy chain. So each single module has the multiplexing multiplexing chip on it, um, and then it basically is a string of LED uh, eight by eight matrix all the way around. So goes like that down here and then back here, um, and I converted that into a nice visualizer i wanted blue so i straight up using um, i'm straight up using blue leds um and none of that uh, multi rgb stuff just want pure blue light out of it um and yeah so just wanted to share the project um share where the idea originally comes from um so i was looking at visualizers a while back and i saw this project called kava uh, now kava is a uh, command line visualizer um a cli based visualizer you can see on my screen right now if i play the song um it's actually uh visualizing that on the terminal and it's really good at it and you can see it perfectly matches um what i've got on the led matrix so let's pause it here for a bit and the reason it does that that is that the LED matrix itself is also running the exact same program. Now, the Kava devs added um, the feature to push out um, the audio frequency data or actually the bar graph data in SKI. So it, it separates out the frequencies. It creates these bar graphs with the and with the gravity animation and all of that so it's all smooth and nice and it can push that out as ASCII data and it's really amazing um and and you can really configure it to your heart's content so we'll go through all of that how i've done it and uh, so the way this is working is that the arduino does not have any audio input whatsoever um it is just getting the kawa's um serial out directly from um, from my system because my system sort of the center console in my office um, room and and that's what I use and that's where I need it. So if I actually run Kava with the custom config which enables uh, SKI, I just wanted to show the output. Um, I can actually do um, and I can actually show how the SKI data is coming out. So there's nothing playing, everything's zeros. And then as soon as I start playing, um, you can see that um, each bar uh, can, you know, ha has has the data on it and it's being represented in ASCII. Um, so if I get out of that and we take a look at the config, uh, you, you can set the bars. So this is the amount of LED uh, columns I have and uh, i can set as ASCII ma max range and this is the amount of led rows no this is the amount of led rows i have this is the amount of led columns i have oh am i confusing rows and columns now anyways um so we have 64 bands represented on the led matrix um and on on our y axis and on our x axis we have a height of 16 leds so that's why the max range is 16 and the number of bars is 64 so everything's pre-calculated all the arduino has to do is at a very fast pace get the serial data in push it out to the pixels get the serial data in, push it out to the pixels now it has quite a lot of work to do because it has to map all of the leds and we're going to go into that in a second um bit format is 8 bit um but since the max range is 16 you don't really need it just you know it's nice to push 8 bit through serial i guess um but no uh you, you can actually put up to 255 here and then if you want to go beyond that uh you 254 and then if you have to go beyond that uh, you can put 16 bits in and it uh, ups, the, ups that as well gives you much more resolution in case you have a, a larger display 
um like like a full blown terminal um at 1080p can push uh, that that much data so um yeah so it just uh, targets that to std out so so standard out and what we are doing uh, in a, in a simple bash script right here um is to basically uh set up our serial uh, with stty with the correct baud rate so i am using one megabit a second just to have it quick mo to get there more quickly um and then just uh cat uh, and, and just like you're redirecting the standard out um to tty usb1 and that's where the arduino receives its data so let's actually go and see why I have all of these numbers here and what's happening with the Arduino code. Um, so the way the Arduino is configured, um, and it might be visually better if I actually load up a demo code uh, from here. Where is it? Right. So if I push this to the Arduino, uh, and you'll see it light up. So this is the way uh, it's actually connected. So row zero starts from here um, and then it basically ends up the other way around and you can see it goes out and comes around all the way. So it's like row zero is continuing from here going to the last row and continuing here because uh, from the back uh, that's how these uh, matrices are connected. So they are looped back so data comes in from here goes into here and back so this is basically uh, like straight up if you open if you cut this in half and you open it up it will fan out uh, on uh, as a single 8 by 128 uh, matrix so that's what it is it is an 8 by 128 matrix it's not a 16 by 64 matrix uh, that's just the physical layout of it so uh, that's what we needed uh, to map the problem is with this, these many pixels, um, the Arduino's SRAM memory uh, memory uh, kind of get, gets overwhelmed. So you can't do the entire mapping sequence um, as, as the Arduino loads in, in like SRAM. So you have to use um, pro progmem and then so that means it will be flashed into the program memory during the flashing cycle and then you can use uh, Progmem read word to get the mapping. So you have to map all of this out. And the way it's done is uh, it's a 3D array. So height by width. And these two, uh, this, uh, the last element is actually um, a, an array that contains the physical, um, uh, the electrical XY position of the LED instead of the physical one. So it's mapping the electrical XY position onto the physical XY position. So um, when when I call L, uh, set pixels on the LED matrix uh, library, uh, I can actually get the actual physical uh, X and Y position um, and uh, using that. Uh, so we'll go into our loops which is going to be kind of uh, confu <laughs> confusing. It took me a bit of time to figure everything out properly. Um, I'm actually going to reflash this back onto the Arduino. Um, j just so that I, I have things to show. Uh, right, so how do we get to this particular matrix? You can manually type this out, just going to take a lot of time. So it's actually quite long. Um, so and I, and I wanted to make it a bit more flexible so that I can add more stuff to it. So here is how it actually looks. Where is gear right there? You go. Uh, and if I can increase, increase. Uh, so it starts with a basic 3D matrix. And um, instead of then you actually uh, loop the, phys the the electrical dimension of the array. Um, and then you put a breakpoint. So, if it's uh, less, if the um, if our y-axis is less than sixty-four, uh, it's the same, and the entire mapping is the same as it would be. We are only concerned when it's greater than or equal to sixty-four. At that point, we are wrapping around our mapping. That rhymed. Uh, we are we are wrapping everything around uh, to. Um, uh, 
x uh, 15 minus x so uh, as soon as our x goes uh, um, so so because it's kind of uh, right I'm, I'm thinking of the best way to explain this um, the reason we do 15 minus x is we have 0 to 15 rows but instead of going straight and wrapping around to the 8th row, it actually wraps around to the 15th row. So our 0 row wraps around to the 15th row um, and, the, and our first row wraps around to the 14th row or 15 minus 1 row and that's how we form the entire logic of doing that. Um, for our y um, axis, so our because it's actually circular it's not going 63 and then 64 here it's going 63 and then 64 here so our 60 our 64th uh, position actually wraps around to our 127th position um and similarly our uh, 64th position is wrapping around to our 0th position on, on the other rows so that's where the uh, the, the second value comes in um, and then 0 and 1 are just x, y. So you equate that, uh, add that to the loop. Um, and uh, below here is the loop to print in a format that I can just copy onto uh, Arduino as an array. So it's just traversing the entire thing. Um, and this is what you get. Uh, so as you can see, 0, 6, 3 and our 0, 6, 4 is um, here. This is our 0, 6, 4. And then... Uh, when we are talking about uh, 127 uh, or 0127 are here and then um, the seventh row is ending right about here and it wraps around to the eighth row as six and then five four three two one um, on the other side so um, yeah uh, our, our seventh row wraps around uh, 0, 6, 4, 6, 3 here wraps around here and then sixth row um, here so on and so forth so you get the point how the entire uh, mapping is calculated so I can just add more uh, more LEDs and more rows in like a spiral and modify um, the parameters and should be good to go Right, um, on to uh, how it's actually uh, getting the uh, data. So serial begin, serial timeout. I you don't really need this, but it's a good idea. Uh, serial begin at a fairly high speed, one megabit a second it can handle all of that. That's fine. Um, uh, this is just like um, sort of a test. I'll probably remove it, um, but it's during setup, so it doesn't really interfere with the act in initial loop. Um, and then set intensity one. I don't have any uh, cover over it, so just thought to blind me. I'm setting the intensity to the lowest level, and there might be a few excess <laughs> variables that I've defined that um, don't really make sense, but. We don't need the string one. Uh, we can do it without it. Um, so we have uh, our character array of 193. Um, the way you get to the value of 193 is that you have, um, if, if you look at the identifier, uh, the, the, where's the other one? The, the limiters, um, you have a comma for every digit. And at a max, these digits can uh, be double. Uh, so double, double double units so it can 10 16 10 11 12 and all of that so um, at a max it will be uh, around 192 units so uh, just take one extra um, read bytes until um, n so the delimiter from kava itself is that uh, after every single frame it has a return carriage that that is why it's wrapping up so well um, and you read till then and now you use a uh, string talk, uh, which basically separates the string with a predefined delimiter. You can have multiple delimiters, but we just need the one. Um, and our increment, and we run the while loop till our PCH is null. 
um, and then we just uh, continue to increment our PCH uh, till we get null and count plus plus. Um, so here's what is happening. Uh, ATOI um, converts string to integer literally instead of a binary conversion. Uh, so one character becomes one integer instead of the sky value. Uh, so we are storing that at x and vals is our uh, final narrow with the length of 64 and uh, we just store the height data um, that we are getting from the serial onto it as an as integers. Um, and then our final loop um, we have our uh, dimensions here, the physical dimensions here this time because uh, we are mapping them. Uh, and then our valves is the reason we have the if else statement is to uh, map the on or off LED. Um, so what we are doing for each individual 16 LEDs, we are checking if it's on or off um, and then just mapping it. Uh, and then so setting the pixel on or off according to that. So that's one or zero here. And then we just use our um, uh, program read word to get the mapping uh, from our um, prog mem array. And then finally, just lmd.display flushes, flushes it out and we are done. Uh, rinse, repeat. We don't need delay because we are already delaying for serial. There's no point in making any further delays in all of this. And there you go. There's nothing more to it. Just a um, nice little loop uh, that does all of that. Um, yeah, you know, it takes up 27% of the program storage because of that. And then um, the rest is just fine. Uh, nothing more. That, that's how it works. Uh, it's live mapping everything. Um, so again, if we go out and run it, it should clear itself in a second. And then you can actually play some music and it basically acts just fine. So yeah, the way it actually is logically mapping everything is one picks one block at a time and then wrapping around um, and then with each pixel it's referring the mapping data so yeah uh, kava saved me from doing all of the audio stuff um, so i can just do the um, the led matrix stuff and uh, make this work um, i hope you all enjoyed this i'll probably upload the um, project to a github repo and um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.